I don't want you taking any shots. All right, this isn't Twitter. This is none of that shit. All right, you're not Randy Orton, okay? Because <laughs> Randy Orton, now that guy takes the shots. Let me tell you something about it, okay? Mr. Orton got to Twitter and took shots at Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, my God, who is excited as I am? You know who isn't? Vince McMahon. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. He was why a, not? That would be fun as hell. I'd love to see that. That's why. He's Supposedly he got heat well. because he's like, they haven't planned anything and you guys are out there booking your own shit. Ciampa versus Orton is something we all Dude, want to nah, see. I'm, I'm going to keep it real with Todd. I'm going to keep it real with Todd. The only way that feud works and it would be money is if Orton goes to NXT. We've had the conversation consistently for, over, for a couple of years now, or at least this year, that NXT is that third brand. It's no longer developmental. So Orton going to Red flag! <laughs> Red flag! I think that Randy Orton sees NXT as so far from <laughs> him. Like, that shit is, like, just beneath him. Like, I've never heard him say, like, anything dope about NXT. I could be wrong maybe right now. But, yo, I, like... Every time he talks about that brand, it's always on some like bullshit. He's never like big, like bigging them up on some real shit. It's always like some backhanded bullshit. So, they're they're the JV squad, you know. Yeah, like it's always been some shit like that. Like he just had that that beef. So I don't think he's gonna go to NXT. I don't think he would do that. And he's at the, he's at the point in his career where he kind of gets to call his shots. Like this he's is not gonna go to like that. I also thought I'd never see Randy Orton twerk, and apparently on TikTok, that's what the fuck happened today. Five. So, we don't know. It's 2020, bro. Do you see how this year's gone? Anything's nah, nah, possible. Nah, <laughs> that, that for sure. That for sure, maybe. But so, uh, NASCAR. I definitely want to... NASCAR. NASCAR. Everything's possible, folks. How, how do you how do you guys feel about uh, Randy Orton's wife getting involved in, in the Twitter beef? I didn't understand it. Oh, what, what happened? What happened? <laughs> So she tweeted out, she said, at Randy Orton, isn't that the same guy that took credit for all those great matches that he didn't put together? Ooh. Why was she there? She's trying to rub the sky the situation? What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? An awkward conversation that happened between the Conversations like Shawn Michaels had this past weekend, Ooh. apparently. Uh, yeah, it was uncomfortable backstage. I mean, apparently, a producer had some thoughts, and he feels... An, 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 apparently, what was a conversation that he said uh, Americans are all treated equally. Um, tough, tough, tough thing to hear someone say these times. How we well, feel about Shawn Michaels? Well, wasn't the conversation that the individual in the back had mentioned, you know, that may be happening in America, but in wrestling, nobody gets treated that way. You try to generalize oh, that. Fine. I, didn't, Mike, I didn't get that far. No, 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 no. The conversation was about America, about inequality and getting treated oh, the same. Okay. And this person told Shawn Michaels that he feels like people that do get treated the same, and Shawn said that they don't. And I guess he was professional about it, is what was leaked out. I thought it was uh, it was it was around it, but also directed to, to within the the wrestling industry. And that's I mean, why that, that's why Sean spoke up because he's like nah, because he's seen things in his day. You know, they've done things in their day, so I think that's why it hit home. But it was, it was diplomatic to a certain degree. It was professional. It wasn't too. It wasn't an aggressive discourse, but there was some stern conversations that we had. And honestly, that's the most exciting thing about the times that we're in right now. This is the first time I've ever felt that the conversations being had on such a macro level, that it's affecting so many entities in our lives. I mean, when you have NASCAR, NASCAR out here making moves, you know, it's just going great right now. Let's keep well, the engine flowing, baby. Let's keep it flowing. Just like the way the WWE is trying to make all the champions black right now, Let's keep the engine going, baby. Let's keep it going. Except for the Intercontinental Championship, and there's that one guy who's up for potentially taking it, and, and his silence was picked up on by uh, one CM Punk. 
This uh, guy right here. The, the man that's oh, been hey, quarantined right here, for yeah. the last, like, what, like, eight years of his life and has nothing better to do? Who? Hey, he's on Twitch. He's good. He's good. What? He's on Twitch. No, CM Punk. What the oh. fuck is CM Punk doing? He's at, oh, he's, he's, on, on, the he's, he's training time. for Bellator or some other MMA that he's going to get his ass kicked in. Uh, uh, he has or... a better chance. He has a better chance of being in Total Bellas. He'll probably nah. get a win there. Or nah, we might nah. see so a potential CM, match. CM Punk was just pointing out the obvious, right? He was talking about AJ Styles. AJ Styles' little racist as comments or non comments yeah. or lack of comments. He said or, pointing out the obvious. That's yeah. crazy. Why? Because AJ, AJ Styles is streaming on Switch and he hasn't brought up the what's going on in the world right now? I don't know the yes. details. So, so in previous, uh, in, in previous interactions he's had with on like talking shop with uh with Carl Anderson and Gallows and, and Rocky Romero, it's always kind of been brought up that he's very um right leaning in his views. And and so oh. Punk Punk made mention the fact that hey, this is stuff we've known for years. So may, maybe, you know. It shouldn't be shocking that he's remained as quiet as he has because of his right leaning views. So, okay, is is everybody taking it for what for that though? Are all of y'all taking it for that? For what it's read as, or like does any of y'all think there's a potential match here? I don't think it's a match. Nah, because I mean, people is saying shit about it. work. You think so? <laughs> Remember, he's, he's getting paid by Fox 2 to be on at this one, so you gotta stir the pot up. That's what they brought him in there for. They want to know his views, and he's I'll gonna say whatever what? the fuck you want. He's still mad that it, AJ was a bigger star in ROH than he was in TNA. <laughs> Listen, well, man, if it, if it opinion, is a work, or winds up being a work, I think this is the safest way to do it. Nothing yeah, really more was famous done than here. AJ Styles, yo. And, and the Listen, Punk was, I think, Listen, yeah. Listen I'm gonna tell you this. It's better. I, to a certain degree, I don't think it's it's fair that that right now we have to force everybody to fucking unveil their views on what's happening. But this is where we're at. And the simple message of you not even addressing what's happening, people are wondering, what are your views? And when you are a celebrity, when you are in the limelight, this is where we're at, bro. There's these these athletes, professional um um professional wrestlers. Uh, NBA stars, football players, golf, NASCAR, actors, they no longer can hide behind their entity of entertainment. Their lives are, are displayed on social media on a daily basis. So people want to know what's up, especially right now. So the fact that he's not saying anything on Twitch, that's sus. That's not that's a good sus. look. It's not a good look. Suck a mom head, kind of not a good look. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, brothers. I don't know. Is the phenomenal you know one canceled? Nah. Nah. It's a, I mean, it, it, nah. he would have to say some crazier shit than Drew Brees did to get canceled. Yeah, right? Um, Speaking of canceled, Ooh. Uh, well, not canceled, but Paul Heyman is no longer executive um, uh, director of Raw um, going forward. Oh, uh, yeah. What are they going to do with him? He got a promotion. Promoting. He's the head of creative. Head of creative. My bad. Talk to me a minute. Yeah, so what's happening is they've realized that the writing apparently on Raw and SmackDown have not been so so great. It's been subpar at times. Uh, So now they want to join forces and make some sort of Avengers creative team. Problem is when you have the bootleg Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles of the creative world, you can't combine <laughs> forces. You can't put Batman with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's not the way it works. When you mix feces with throw-up, what do you get? What? A fucking mess. Mischief. Right? Yeah, mischief. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but that, I, We get that but, bum right there. But the one thing that does excite me is uh, Paul E., man. Paul Heyman uh, being at the helm, 
creatively, I mean, there's something to be seen. Let's see. Uh, there might be an opportunity to get some continuity out of this. <laughs> this is me being optimistic. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what gives you the impression that anything interesting will come out of this bullshit. <laughs> this just reminds me of what happened the last time he was in control of like SmackDown. Like they're uh, like, yeah, you don't follow the program, get the hell out of here. But see, that's the thing. He was just in charge of SmackDown. Now we're talking about both shows. I, I feel like it's a, a, a figurehead role, so they can just kind of keep him out the keep him out the box. Oh, really? So you think it's just trying to keep him away from AEW? It, it, it's it's a uh, you know ah, God I forget the terminology but there's a there was an old Japanese business tactic where you promoted incompetence so that it wouldn't get in the way. Wow. Not to say that Paul is incompetent, but maybe his views aren't what Vince wants to happen. So if so that's kind of what you said, though. So as a that selfish is not fan. <laughs> As a selfish fan, I think that the, the deprived fans of today and youth of today that are have no idea what living is and experience wrestling is deserve a motivated and unchained Paul Heyman to be creative and 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 call the shots for a wrestling promotion. If that's my what you God. My God, if somebody gave him, some company were to give Heyman the keys, oh my God, me selfishly? Jesus. I would love to see what I'm interested, because I don't I don't feel Paul Heyman would be interested in doing such a thing. But I thought you were if, saying... if, he, if, if he was interested, oh my God. Oh my God. You know that Heyman, yeah, like Heyman's promotion is just like, yo, you're the first person I'm going to say no to. Like, it's like... <laughs> so it'd be, you're right it would be fucking crazy but i don't see that happening because they're gonna oh, give no, him no. a lot of money yeah he's yeah just gonna shut the fuck up right there because <laughs> the talent that's what they're gonna do yeah yeah <laughs>